he's part of my family. Like, he's like my brother. It's pretty cool. Like he's my buddy. Like I love saying. I always get so happy to see him every time I'm here. Seeing Sang do his thing here brings a certain type of humanity to how we're all different, but we all want the same thing. We all want to be seen, we all want to be taken seriously and be a part of a community. And there's di different definitions of that community, but it's very universal as far as like what drives us and gets us out of bed is to be a part of something. Do you remember when we were building the restaurant? I was like, Sam, you're gonna work in the restaurant. Yeah. It's gonna be your restaurant. Yeah. Do you remember that? Make it! Curry! Is that for Judy? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. This is as is? Tell me, buddy. Hot, hot, hot. Louder, yeah? Hot, 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 hot. You can't even imagine how dedicated Sang and his population is once they have a job. That's why you hear these stories all the time where you know, a man with Down syndrome just retired from McDonald's after 35 years. Part of that is the dedication and the not giving up and not having any fear and not seeing that a situation is hard. It's just a matter of like, how do I do and how do I get to it? Oh, I've got my practice. Oh, my name is Morgan. Oh, hello, my name is Angel. He loves sandwich How am I saying? Good. Behind. What's your favorite thing? I'm here with the fat dashes so well. The pork sausage for you. Now we've got pork bami and chicken salad. Now we got pork and chicken curry and I'm working with um fat dashes for me. Now we've got pork. They're working coffee and. <laughs> so. You're good. You're way better than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that was good. What are you doing? I'm just proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs when I cry. It's totally normal. <laughs> no, I'm um, hungry. <laughs> you're hungry? <laughs> me too, me too. Sang's three years younger than me, so growing up with Sang, I always had an immediate connection with him. He wasn't able to communicate verbally. It's a, a crying, yes, and frustrations through the crying. They sent a nurse and also a sign language specialist to the house. So I just remember watching so intently mm -hmm. As like, this means more, you know, this means hungry. With my dad especially, he didn't understand what Down syndrome is, was. Every time, I would hear or see something. I just didn't stop. I just didn't stop like defending my mom, defending my, my brother. That was really probably one of the hardest times of my life and my mother was okay with it. My father, he wasn't okay with it because again, it was part of the saving face. You're embarrassing me because all my friends are going to think that I can't take care of my own child and my own son. And my dad said, so everything that we went over, we're going to go ahead and scrap. Um, and when we pass away, 
um, I'm going to give saying to the government. And I looked up my dad and I said, Dad, I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> and you're going to hear from my attorney. It was hard. It was really, really hard. When my mom passed away from ovarian cancer, I redirected that sadness, uh, I redirected that energy into opening Sandwich Hack uh, to one, honor her memory of also cooking everything from scratch. And then having a place for saying um, to call his own. Saying is not just learning how to operate a commercial kitchen. The team is learning how to operate with a person of a different ability and our customers are exposed to someone that, not that they don't want to speak to, it's more of how do I approach this person <clears throat> without making this person uncomfortable or making the family feel uncomfortable. I would see it a lot at the very beginning. Usually they treat him like a baby and I don't, it's just, I don't like that. Like to me, it's just very disrespectful that, that they would treat somebody with Down syndrome like that when they're exactly just like us. And saying is basically like my twin, like the way we both are, it's just, um, but now a lot of them are regular customers and they just treat them exactly like they would treat me or a chef. I only need three and three quarters. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down, slow down. The training process and the getting acclimated with our culture has so much to do with how Sang is. This is how he operates. For instance, you know, if you want him to throw in three baguettes you can't say, throw three in, because chances are you may get a little less, a little bit more. The idea is coaching the team to say, okay, saying, throw in one baguette, two baguette, you know, or they'll say, you know, we need curry baguettes, and saying we'll cut the curries, and the team will say, okay, throw one, two. Can you do two more? Yes. Yeah, there's eggs in there, though, so they'll need more. Is there any in there? Oh, no, in here. No? Okay, here. One. Two. There you go. That's good. And then we have three of these. One, two, three. If I recognize that saying isn't comprehending a, a certain language or a certain type of direction, then I'll tweak it. That's good, buddy. Good? Yep. White lid. Okay. Do you have the lid with the hole? Yep. That's good. Go ahead and grab that lid. And together as a whole, you know, we, we work as a team. And that's why I go back to when saying's not here, it is a void that we feel we're down one person. You know, we've got him and to see Sang doing that and knowing that we have similar goals for him, it just means the world to us. And we have um, a dream of people not underestimating the skills of people with disabilities. And so our dream is that people will see people for who they are and what they can do right. instead of what they can't do. It's great to see, yeah. He's the, he's the face of Sandwich Hag. I mean, he's the one who's serving it. Bring, bring the food to the counter, and I think that's, that's super special. Ultimate. What makes this place different from a lot of the other places in town? With Bon Appetit, it's, it's really been nonstop, but the most important thing that I'm getting out of all of this is the platform that it's given me uh, and our restaurant, Sandwich Hag, to continue the exposure and hopefully the ripple effect that someone with Down syndrome, a different ability of all abilities can work in any restaurant if you take the time, you style flex, and sometimes it's Food doesn't come out, you know, in five minutes, you know, like you're used to. Our country has a mentality like, you know, I want it now and I want it fast um, and I want it good. Make sure it's good though. It's okay for us to slow down a little bit and the outcome is someone like saying that 
is so dedicated and is the most dedicated employee. So it's not like saying is here, you know, and just floating around doing nothing. When he's not with us, there is a true void. Good guy. You want to stop now? Hi. Welcome to Sandwich Eye. <laughs>